Hello, this is Amber Sinki with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about the hanger placement feature within Evolve Electrical. So in this situation here, I'm going to select my conduit, press finish, and then this dialog box will come up. You're able to create different profiles, which allows you to be able to quickly select from your profiles in different areas or different floors. So in this situation, you can go into your settings and either edit your profiles or create new ones. So your placement, you have the ability to adjust your spacing, distance from end, and ability to add rounding. And then in the mirror lock hangers, you can have them turned on. You can choose from your hanger type, hardware size, and your maximum conduit size. From there, we have our family settings. So we have an auto detect type, which will detect if you need a single tier, two tier, three tier, or four tier. You can adjust your hanger attachments. Do you need a blue banger, beam clamp, embed, or a rod coupling? From there, we have our strut configuration. Do you need your kind of on top, bottom? What is your strut size? What is your strut type? Do you need inverted strut, back-to-back -back strut, or a standard strut? So for rod configuration, we have the ability to adjust your gap distance. It will also detect structure, so you can have your beam clamp on. You also have the ability to turn on a center rod and adjust your hardware size. The big thing is the collision detection, but I'll go over that a little bit later on in this video. So from there, once you get all of your settings perfectly adjusted, you can press OK. And then go into your options, choose your attached to near structure overhead, distance from level, linked model, or reference plane. Linked model is my favorite. You're able to choose which linked model you want it to be attached to. And then for your placement, you can choose your profile that you'd like. I'm gonna do the no collision detection. And then you can do your mode, entire path, change direction, or a single hanger. So in this situation, I'm going to place my hangers and choose the direction I want the hangers to be placed. As you can see, there are clashes right now. So it automatically placed the hangers, but there are clashes. So traditionally, you'd have to go back there and adjust your hangers to alleviate all these clashes. So you can see it's clashing with this ductwork. And then also there is some clashes down here more with the piping. So you can see it would be clashing. You had to come there and adjust it. But now we also have the option to do collision detection. So in this situation, I'm gonna select the same conduit, but I'm going to choose a different profile. This profile is gonna be extremely similar to the one we previously had, but the collision detection will be on. So as you can see, we still have the mirror lock options, family settings, but the big thing is the collision detection. So we have an enable auto collision adjustment, which allows you to be able to turn that on and it will scan your project and compare what you have visible shown and your run of conduit. So based on these settings here, it will not exceed a maximum movement or stretch, but it will place the hangers in the best location based on averting the clashes. Immovable hangers will also turn a different color, but I can show you that in a later video. So from there, we're going to choose the direction that we want our hangers to be placed. And as you can see, all of those clashes that were previously there are not there, and they were all inverted, and all the hangers are perfectly placed. So there is no need to worry about going back and coordinating your hangers and trying to figure out the best place. Everything will be ready to go. So that is today's Fun Future Friday on hanger placement. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.